Hi, I'm Tangfish, and I have severe cognitive disabilities. Did you know that sharks kill on average six humans per year? Oh, uh, look at that. Cows kill more people than the shark. Oh, right, they're f***ing assholes. That's why we're killing a hundred millions of them every year. Hell yeah, Anyway, welcome to Shark Bite, a game where a shark is somehow living in the lake. I mean, look at this. This is a completely enclosed body of water. It's a f***ing lake. The f*** is the shark doing the lake? I don't know, because they die in fresh water! In this game, a hungry shark is gonna desperately try to get a good bite on those sweet booties of the survivors. Finally, some good fucking food. Mm. However, unlike the dumbasses in, I don't know, like, Piggy, the survivors in this game are not completely retarded, as they have brought military weaponries with them. I mean, who doesn't bring a f***ing minigun with them whenever they go boating or do anything, actually? It's called self-defense, you never know if a terrorist attack's gonna happen. Hell, I bring gun with me when I go to school! Now you might be wondering, how the f***? Is a shark even a threat to all these modern technologies? Well, the shark in this game is likely an experiment conducted by the government. A genetically modified shark with titanium reinforced skeleton and a biting power that can shred 19mm thick reinforced steel armor of a f***ing destroyer. F***ing thing's health bar doesn't even budge when it gets shot by a destroyer turret. That thing's more powerful than a tank and it penetrates- The survivor's goal is to survive. No sh Sherlock. Or kill the shark, which is potentially illegal. And you probably get animal right protesters spamming your social media once you have bragged about it. The shark dies after that timer runs out and the survivors win. Don't know why it dies. Probably because it can't survive in fresh f water. Also Corona. They might have caught Corona. At the start of every game, a random player is chosen to play as the shark. The chance of someone being chosen increases every time they're not chosen. But in reality, the game usually gives you the metaphorical Roblox middle finger as you will always be chosen when you don't want to play as the shark. And never chosen when you want to. Anyway, when you play as a shark, it is common practice to sexually harass the survivors with words like Oh yeah, I'm coming for that ass. Or mm, I'll get a good bite out of that ass. The shark has the ability to sense people who are in water, or as I like to call it, I smell ass. It also has the ability to sense moving boats and the ability to become underwater Kimstar for a few seconds. Most sharks will try to stay underwater like the pussies they are and strike when they detect something. Cause you know, survivors have guns. The shark may seem bulletproof, but remember, nothing's bulletproof if you shoot it enough times. There are also different sharks that you can play as, but honestly, they're kind of like Asians. Pretty much the same. Some have more health and some are faster. And then there's the Mosasaurus, which is uh... Three little words. Get fucked, nerd. Nerf, please. There are four types of survivors in this game. The corner campers, the AFKers, the f pussies, and the chat poachers. They are also role players, but they are a minority, so no one gives a f they, they don't matter. They don't matter. The corner campers usually stay in their natural habitat, one of the four corners. They will try to get there as fast as possible after the game starts and proceeds to watch hentais for the rest of the game. The AFKers are in for the cash. They are likely sleeping. The AFK in the hope that the shark is also AFKing, leaves the game or is dumb enough to not be able to find them, so they can get that 20 shark teeth awarded to survivors who survive. They're usually the one with the sailboats. The f pussies run away when they see sharks and evade them skillfully like they evade their taxes in real life. They tend to stay the f away from the sharks, just like they stay the f away from the tax collectors. They're usually the last one to die, cause they're f***ing pussies. The chat poachers are here to hunt down the sharks to take its shark fins. They attack sharks when they smell them bleed, and they do it by chasing them down or sniping them from afar. It is a very illegal activity and hurts the ecosystem, but who the f*** cares? It's fun! Oh yeah, and there's also the boat flippers. <coughs> and the motherfuckers who glitch to the island so it's f***ing impossible to get- The survivors have a plethora of heavy weaponries that they can buy from their black market dealer. The weapons can somehow shoot underwater, has unlimited ammunitions, and are apparently kind of weightless. Like how can you f 
can swim when you have this on your hands. Eh, let's not question Roblox game logic. The arsenal includes useless rifle, harpoon that somehow deals more damage than bullets, rocket launcher that somehow doesn't kill sharks in one hit, shotgun to deter the shark from your lawn, AK-47 to deter the shark from the motherland, gift and pumpkin launcher to confuse the shark, cause what the f it's overpowered, man. The freaking gift launcher has like 28 bombs in one clip, and they can be used as mine too. Commando, if you believe in Jesus, I wanna spray and pray. Squid sniper is alien technology. I don't know how it works, but it works pretty well. Ray gun that you stole from Area 51, and minigun that makes scary. If you feel rich, you can do microtransactions. With Robux, you can buy Oxygen Tank, which gives you unlimited breath underwater. Flare Gun, which is totally f***ing useless. If you have that Robux to burn, give it to me. Boat Stereo, which allows you to become an obnoxious f***ing who doesn't stop blasting bypass cocking balls torture. However, if you are a dirt poor Robux less peasant, there are equipments that you can buy with shark teeth. You can buy Rubber Ducky Ring, which can be placed on the water. Then you can sit on it and kiss goodbye to your f***ing in life, because the shark can now see you since your ass is partially underwater. You can also buy flippers, which makes you swim faster to evade your inevitable death and makes you look like a f***ing dork. And finally, there's the bait bucket, which can be used to masturbate. There are way too many boats that you can use, but whatever you do, don't use the f***ing sailboat. It is as fast as an 80 years old on a broken wheelchair, and can be destroyed if the shark sneezes on it. The pirate ship has two cannons which you will likely never use, and probably will never hit a shark with because you cannot aim with them. The jet ski is good if you want to look like a tryhard. The stealth boat is good if you don't want to die. Are you sure about that? Spectre is good if you really don't want to die. Raptor is good if you really, really don't want to f die. The submarine is good if you want to die. Because I don't know why, but there's this psychological thing where sharks just like to chase submarines. They're like yellow shark candies. The military boat is basically the stealth boat, but without the stealth and more like a boat. The destroyer is a bad investment, but it's cool as f though. The flying Dutchman doesn't fly. And finally, the Titanic, the thick daddy, comes with two lifeboats and even if it's destroyed you can still survive on the debris. However, the reason why you buy Titanic is not because you want to have a better chance to survive. I mean, we all, we all know what happened to Titanic. It's because you want to flex on these noobs and make the game a living hell for them by flipping all their boats like the f***ing asshole you are. If you have Titanic, get a life, please. Seriously, spending so much time in the f***ing Roblox game. I wonder how, I wonder why. If the game gets boring, don't worry. There are game modes that are essentially the same as normal mode, but with more sharks. Double sharks spawns two sharks. I feel very stupid for saying that. As if one shark is not enough pain in the ass. Yep, shove two up in there. Oh, and you know what's more of a pain in the ass than two sharks? More than two sharks. Interviral infection. If you die, you become a shark. Chest chase. Actually, I like chest chase, because that's free money. Who doesn't like chest? Big chest. So yeah, basically a random chest spawns somewhere underwater and you have to go get it to get 50 shark teeth. And finally, the f***ing Titanic. I f***ing hate this because I own the Titanic to begin with. It makes me feel less special. And if everyone is on the same boat, I can't f*** them over by flipping them. After playing for a while, you'll probably start to grind for better guns and better ships. Grinding in this game is pretty tedious, unless you're filthy rich. Money can solve everything. If you can't solve something with money, then that means you don't you don't have enough money. The only ways to earn shark teeth in the game is to shoot sharks, kill players, grab chests, and win matches. So how did I grind? How did I get my Titanic? Well, I didn't grind, because I was sleeping the whole time. That's right, I was them. I was them all along. The sailboat gang. The best way to grind in the game is to not play the game. I am the AF King!